Why, hello there, it's me, Emily. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably know that I'm a pretty big fan of Christine Simply Nail Logical. I usually always have some combo of Holo Taco on my fingernails, and then oftentimes you can see a collection box in the background of my videos. And although I do not have all of the Holo Taco polishes and products, I do definitely have the majority of them. So about two years ago, I made a video giving Disney pins makeovers using nail polish, but that was before the brand Holo Taco came out with their products and existed, so I kind of wanted to revisit that idea, but this time using all of the Holo Taco polishes. I think nail polish is an excellent way to decorate and embellish Disney pins, since you know nail polish itself is like an enamel. So this is a perfect way if you want to add some pizzazz to like any fake pins that you have. Today I am actually going to be using all authentic pins, but hopefully this can give you some like fun creative inspo. Two of the pins that I'm going to be giving makeovers to are the standard old school Hidden Mickey Chaser pins that don't have any enamel on them. So with Thols, I do have to supplement from my regular creme nail polish to complete Thols. But for the rest of the pins, I'm using just standard regular Disney pins that already have enamel on them, and they are getting decorated exclusively with lovely Holo Tago polishes. Now just a note, if you decide to do anything like this to your pins, you know, embellishing them, changing them in any way, they no longer are, you know, a real authentic Disney pin since you have fully, fully modified them. So these are not things that you could then go back and trade in the park these are now your own fun perfect creation. So to do some fun decoration like this all you need is some nail polish and then I just use toothpicks to kind of paint and fill in all the nail polish enamel. I have seven pins today to give makeovers to so let's get started with all them. Before I actually jump into the decorations I wanted to share the very first pin I ever did a hollow taco uh, decorative DIY of. This is a limited edition 1000 pin from the 2019 D23 Expo and originally it had a full D23 2019 logo but I didn't attend the event and I don't really want a pin that's branded to that because I just I love this design on its own so I sanded it off and then I added some nice scattered hollow taco and a little glossy taco on the balloon. So this pin is now a one of one creation. Then also just to mention it today we have gift receipt on my nails. Okay, now let's go into the pin decoration. I'm gonna start off with this goofy chaser pin, and first I'm gonna go in with some cremes and fill in some of the colors that I don't have Holo Taco polishes for, and once that's done, we will then bring out the Holo Taco. we can bring out the hollow taco polishes so to finish off goofy we have some one coat black and then for the blue of his pants we're gonna use some blue freezy So now to fully finish off our Goofy, we're going to cover him in a nice top coat. Unfortunately, I can't use an actual glossy top coat because that has become so highly viscous, uh, it's not really spreadable, so we're going to have to use this by OPI instead, but you know, still going for the same effect. And there we go, our Goofy is all finished up. I think Blue Freezy worked absolutely perfectly for his pants. And the one coat black definitely did its job. I'm gonna move on to this Mike Wazowski chaser pin next. And again, I'm gonna have to use quite a few of my own cremes to kind of come in as a base, but then we're gonna put some nice hollow taco toppers on it to finish it off. Now 
Now I am again going to go in with some one coat black and blue freezy to finish off the coloring, but then we'll bring out some more decorative toppers. Now, I thought what would give this a little bit of pizzazz is taking some solar unicorn skin and adding that on top of our Uzma Kappa logo. I absolutely love how the unicorn skin looks on that. If I'm being honest, I might actually like the unicorn skins better than the hollow, but that looks so pretty. And then with this one again, we're going to put a nice glossy top coat on it. And here is our finished final Mike Wazowski Monsters University pin. So I finished up these guys, which had no enamel to start with, and we got a little bit of hollow taco put onto them, but now we're gonna move on to full hollow taco mode. So all the other pins that I will be giving makeovers to already have full enamel on them, and we're only gonna use hollow taco to jazz them up. So for this little Elliot Tsum Tsum, we're gonna do some Menchi the Cat on the pink hair. Then we're gonna do some Mint Money as the full green base and then some mist shift in these small little kind of like very dark green black areas. Now that is a makeover. Just look at how much that glistens and shine. It looks awesome. This is what you call a super next level Tsum Tsum. I have another Tsum Tsum pin that I thought would be fun to do a makeover of, Kevin from Up. And I wanted to do this in some purple with Envy, since this has really nice shifts between purple and blue, and this is a very kind of lovely indigo-esque color. I thought that would be fun. I wish for this purpose I had more colors in the Linear Hollow Rainbow Collection, but I think we'll do some more fun toppers on the rest of Kevin. <laughs> Multi-chrome shift on Kevin is just absolutely beautiful. And then I went in over the yellow again with some solar unicorn skin. And then I did a little bit of scattered hollow taco on the beak. Now what I think I'm gonna do to step this up even more is I'm gonna put some Aurora unicorn skin over the purple. And I think that'll really bring this next level. say adding that other unicorn skin on was an excellent decision because this looks so insanely amazing. So many super super pretty color shifts. I've never really liked Tsum Tsum pins. I think they're kind of plain and boring, but now with some hollow taco, they are beautiful. I've got a few more really boring pins that could definitely use some exciting makeovers. This one is just a Cheshire Cat Mickey icon. So I think on this one, we're gonna do some magenta jelly on it, and then also some fake date for the stripes. nice and definitely an improvement, but what I think will really take this over the edge is adding some purple flaky hollow taco on top of the magenta jelly. There we go. This was exactly what this needed. Adds that extra dimension of sparkle and shine. And now this is a beautiful Cheshire Cat. 
Next, I wanted to fancy up this churro pin. I have multiple of these and I want to make this one, you know, just an extra special one to display. So I think in the background, we're going to do some purple slushy and then add some gold flaky hollow taco over the churros themselves to kind of give them that cinnamon sugar shine. And then, you know, we'll see if any other decoration ideas strike. This is definitely simple and a bit more understated compared to all the makeovers, but you know, I kind of want to leave the churros to speak for themselves and really let that lovely gold flaky glitter shine. I'm going to do one final pin and I think we're going to end off with this Mickey Mouse, this hidden Mickey pin, which by the way is an authentic one that doesn't have any nubs, just a little fun fact. And I think I want to do like a real extreme makeover on this and actually get some more of the mist shift and put that over the red. Mist Shift is the most intense of all the multi-chromes, and so I think that'll be fun. And then I think we're just gonna go in and just add a whole bunch of Hollow Taco toppers on it. is our final pin makeover. I wanted to kind of make this look like Mickey was running almost through like a cosmic black hole. So on top of Mickey, I added some scattered hollow taco and then in the background over Miss Shift, I did some classic flaky hollow taco. I think I did a pretty good job covering up the red background and now it's just um, some super shifty multi-chrome on top. Here is our full little suite of hollow taco makeover to Disney pins. I love how these came out. I love how you can still kind of use the classic chaser pins and give them the full enamel color treatment, or you can take an already filled in regular normal pin and then just make it super pizzazzy and awesome. I hope you enjoyed seeing all those fun Hollow Taco Disney pin makeovers. The metallic polishes are so, so shiny on them, and I love how the unicorn skins look, and just any type of, you know, holographic top coat, like, really makes them pop. So, I mean, if you have some fake pins laying around, I highly encourage you to do something like this to really pizzazz them up, and they can become really fun pieces to display on your pin boards. But let me know which pin ended up being your favorite makeover of this video. I'm so happy with how they all turned out, and I'm kind of tempted to do this to more of my pins. But thanks for watching!